Alright, I was just going to make a quick little video kind of explaining uh, two different square grinders, I guess you'd say. This is a Symington 450C that I made the video about modifying. <coughs> you kind of see how it works. The chain sits on it and it takes the chain into the wheel via this arm that swings. Well, it's called a swing arm got two different paws on it one for one side of the chain the other for the other side of the chain so this thing just swings around and then you grind the other side all right so that covers a swing arm the 451c this is an older one so that's why it's a it's a 450 the 451c is a little bit different the arms totally different on it it's a it's a couple different pieces it's got some height adjustment and stuff built into it uh, but it does have some limiting factors on angles you can hit and stuff and i think this one now is pretty well wide open i think you can kind of hit any angle you want to hit and they typically get better as the wheel wears this is pretty much a new wheel these are your dressers to dress the wheels with you just turn them in and that dresses the edge and here's kind of the stone profile these stones are square ended when you get them you use the dressers and dress them to the shape you desire and that's how these bolts are how you adjust the angle it swivels this block and that adjusts all the angles same thing on this one loosen the bolt turn the block changes the angle on the dresser these are not a precision grinder i guess you'd say so you can move this arm up and down so you do get a bit of flex on these. <clears throat> I'll take it over here and show you the other one. This is my Sylvie SDM4. And it's totally different. Y'all might recognize that. This thing came a long way to get here. But you can see how much more complicated this one is but this is a precision grinder it you can uh you can repeat time and time again whereas you can't with one of the other ones i'll show you it's the same deal on the the dressers are basically the same you got a uh, bolt back here you loosen to change your angles and but this thing's just positioned totally different and works totally different. <clears throat> There's the catch. You can see it catches the chain there. And then when I... this These are all stops. You can set the stops up and just grind a chain. That handle moves this moves this thing over pulls it pulls the chain into the wheel but when i throw this lever forward watch what happens that paw comes down holds the chain solid and it puts it into the wheel and then you basically just turn this lever in to bring the tooth into the wheel and that's that's how this one works you got a scale on here for wheel size because as the wheel wears you loosen this bolt and move it up or down whichever way and if you replace the wheel same thing but 
That's it on a stand it's sitting on. Good machine though. Both of them are good machines in their own right. They, uh, they both do the job. Same thing on this side too. This one's just a little... This one's definitely a more sophisticated piece of equipment. I don't have a Pro Sharp. There's a couple other Sylvie ones. A Pro Sharp and a... What was the other one? There's one other one that's kind of a more economic version. But... Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little short video about the two grinders I have anyway. Y'all have a good one.